Hey, what's up, everybody? Brian with you from the game and We're playing more Civ 6, continuing with our Skyland campaign. And we actually have an okay start as Skyland? What happened? Ooh. I want to steal you. <laughs> I want to steal you. I mean, obviously, I'm not. Uh, hopefully, she doesn't have a builder nearby. Or, sorry, a settler nearby, because we really, really, really don't want that to happen. Uh, I'm still tempted to chase you down, but you know what? I'm going to go this way and maybe just kill... Yeah, we might just be able to go find the uh, encampment and killed off. Got a lot of hurt warriors. I need you guys to move, by the way, because I need to go settle there. ASAP, please, and thank you. Uh, Mongolia? She at war? She's at war. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's why loyalty pressure is a bit of a problem. Because we've not met, and I thought it was Mongolia. Oh, I'm shocked. Tomorrow's getting destroyed by Mongolia. Weren't they... Oh, so that means this tile is going to be a little worse than I thought. Yeah, it's at negative nine again. That's still fine. Uh, did Tamar and Mongolia fight? Did Tamar fight uh, Genghis Khan? I'm trying to think the uh, ye uh, the years. Khan. Timur. Later spelled Tamar. Mongolian invasion of Georgia. Okay, when did Genghis Khan live? Well, let's see. Let's let's Google Tamar, Georgia. Georgia. Tamar, Georgia. Queen of Georgia. This was 1184 to 1213. Genghis Khan. Uh, 1184 to 1213. 1184 to 1213. He was 1162 to 1227. So technically, they were about the same time. Finally disintegrated due to Tamur's invasion of Georgia. Who was the leader of Georgia during this? Mongolia conquest of Georgia proper. Did Tamar like rise after Mongolia? Tamar was able to build on the success of her predecessors to consolidate an empire which was dominate which dominated the Caucasus until it's can collapse under the Mongol attacks within two decades after her death. Okay, so she died just before it. Gotcha. So Georgia was like this huge power, and then Mongolia came and screwed it up. <laughs> yeah. No. No history. Like, yeah. Doesn't sound at all familiar to like most of history here. Can I get the free settler? I hate you. Absolutely hate you. Why? God dang it. I can never get it anymore. I hate it. Volcanic tile is very interesting, obviously. So I'm thinking three things. Number one, we can get the Ancient Wonder, which is going to help us with the Petra. But honestly, that's only going to help like four or five tiles. So in the scheme of things, maybe not that great. The other thing we can do is we can get the Volcanic Soil and get the Extra Faith, which is going to help us as we have... Uh, a Valletta. Yes. Or we grab something else that gives us faith. Which... I mean, mines, dude? Over luxury and bonus resources. Two, four, six. That's eight freaking faith, man. But then again... This is three, two, four, six. And then eventually we're going to be able to get another city here. <sighs> Dude. I'm not seeing any other mines, mineable resources, mineable uh, luxury resource. Bonus resource would have a mine. Yeah, what bonus resource uses mines? Because you use quarry. I hate how mines and quarries are separate things. I just like it being one. It just makes life so much simpler. Yeah, what other what other resource would use it? Oh, copper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, five. 
I think I think we're gonna do the mine the the mines. I th I think it's I think it's this one. I think we're probably more likely to see that versus volcanic tile. Cause some of this volcanic tile is probably gonna get eaten up by Georgia. Three, one. So one, two, three, four, which is the exact same as here. But I don't need a mine for, no, we're gonna do fire goddess. Cause here's the thing, I have to actually build a mine. So that means I need a builder. This will just be natural. I'll just get it without the builder. So early game, we'll be able to generate more faith with the volcanic tile. And keep in mind, we want to generate as much faith as possible early game because that's going to allow us to buy granaries early game and grow our cities early game. And just, it's going to be great. It's going to be lovely. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she beautiful? How's that song go? It's something like that. I've been singing that to Parker the last couple days. My puppy. <laughs> Who, if you've not seen her, she is very beautiful. She, she is maybe the cutest dog ever made. But anyways, okay. So let's go here just to block you off, and then yeah, we're gonna go settle there. Negative nine will be okay though. We need you to get to pop five now. You are gonna lose a pop, but it'll be okay. We just need the granaries. And here's the thing, the city is actually gonna have a pop as well, and it will keep growing as well. Um, we'll work the three food right away to get as much food as possible. Um, got an okay harbor here. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We might end up killing George at some point. I don't know. We'll see. He should like us because we won't have Cav. He only hates us right now because we're allied or we're friendly. No, first impressions. He'll be friendly with us long term, though. Mongolia and me are always buds, mostly because I never go with horsies. You're actually at negative six. And then you went to negative ten. <laughs> eh. But yeah, you're going to grow again here in any second. And we will go through another city. I think over here. And I think right here for the harbor. Maybe here, eh, that's, no, that's a grassland hill. So let's go here then, because that's how we'll flood. For what it's worth, it's also canal, but who cares? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'll be within loyalty range. Uh, it's starting to block off Mongolia down in this direction. Are you? No, so there is another sieve over here we've not met. Okay. Because this tile will most definitely flood. Even with the science victory, there's no way for us to get computers before on Apocalypse Mode and Primordial. It's just going to go to hell. So yeah, I think we'll do that. Uh, Brian. I forgot about the religion. In the scheme of things, I don't need the religion. Keep in mind... Yeah, we don't need the religion. We just need to generate faith. Yeah, okay, so this is fine. Foreign trade, we will send the trader out immediately. Oh, he's actually losing it. Uh, still, I think I'll send it to Mongolia because I want to be Mongolia's friend. You have Colossal Head. Oh, Leventa, okay. I was like, that's a city state I hadn't met yet. No, that's not true. I met you. Ah, go away. Ah, go away. Okay, good, 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 good. Grab that. That gave us a boost towards archery. Great. Like, eh. There's so many better ones I would much rather have boosted, but oh well. Okay, we'll keep exploring through here. We don't have open borders yet, right? Open borders comes through here. That's fine. We also have our War of Liberation right here, guys. Oh, that's Retribution. Never mind. <laughs> uh, either way, I would never want to actually do it, but... Okay. Oh, negative 13 now. Ugh, that sucks. That's fine, though. Uh, Because we're going to go ahead and assign you. This is only at negative 4. Now, we are going to go knock out the monument right away. We could also buy the monument with Faith, too. That's the other option here. Or would I rather have a builder so we grow a little quicker? Dude, we got some good tiles here, though. We got a 3 food and then a 2-3. And then we have all the stuff here. Yeah, I hate how you grab that tile. Probably going to want to kill Georgia at some point. Probably. I need you to grow. Yeah, I need you to grow. You start at 100, right? Yeah, so you got plenty of turns. 
Uh, there's only 10 turns. There's, well, 10 turns, 11 turns left. And she still has crap loyalty, right? And by loyalty, I mean score. Yeah. He's at 22. Which is not quite a golden era. But she's going to be in a dark era, it looks like. Wait, she was at 12? She's at 10. She might be at a dark era. Okay. We will not get a Goldman era. Even if we Suzerain Valletta, I don't think we'll get a Golden era. Yeah, no, probably not. Um, Let's heal you really quickly, just cause. I actually would rather see Georgia win this than Mongolia, now that I think about it. Maybe I should, eh, it wouldn't matter. It's like, maybe I should block you, but I can't, so. Ah, that sucks, because I need to heal you. Okay, he ran away, that's good. So let's just go ahead and heal with you before we go fight some barbarians. Foreign trade's done, we'll get the early empire. We don't have enough gold to send yet. You're up 14 turns, is it still negative five? Negative 6.4, it got worse. Ugh. 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 Gold from trade routes doesn't help me. You're going to grow, though. That's part of the issue. And then we're going to have another city growing here. So I still think we're fine. I don't owe you money. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Doctor's office just sent me a message. Log in. I paid you off. I don't owe you money. What are you? Oh, you know what it is? Yeah, it's refilling my medication. Okay. Good, 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 good. I was actually scared there for a second because, like, technically... You know what? I'm going to actually block you off. I want to keep her alive because Golden Age uh, Mongolia owning you is going to be a little harder to hold. And how long... Oh, God dang it. You're going to hold it. I can't get open borders with you yet either. I can, but I'd have to pay. That's just two gold. Okay, we're actually going to do that. Because we're going to try blocking her in. Like, if you can kill this warrior off, I can just go hold that tile. Pfft, eh. Most likely, you're going to end up grabbing that. Basically, I'm trying to block her. I'm trying to save her life. Uh, but anyways, I was worried they're going to make me go to the doctor's office to get a refill, which would just kind of suck at this point. Because I don't really want to have to go to the doctor's office with, you know, COVID. Just going unchecked here in America slash Texas. Okay, so we're going to go here, help you out. You're welcome. And I'm going to try getting you down here. Hopefully you just move this warrior. I mean, honestly, this would be a better tile to block straight up because there's no river crossing still. Still. You're at 12 turns now. Oh my God. Ugh. 7.1, what is happening? Why is this getting so bad? Ugh, oh, his cities are growing. Who knew that was going to be an absolutely terrible spot to settle? You're growing in two turns, though. And you're growing next turn. Okay, so that's going to slow it down. Okay, okay, okay. You almost just need this city here just to get another pop going. I might just settle here, depending on where he moves. Okay, so yeah, now it's negative 2.7. Okay. Woo! Curved it off. Dude, George is dead. Mm. Mm. But, here's the thing. We might actually still be able to take uh, Tbilisi here. There's a really good chance that Mongolia takes it, and then maybe next era it flips. Potentially? Also, how is it still 10 turns? Dude. It's a little slower than it normally is. Well, we're not going to be able to go grab that tile. That's unfortunate. So, yeah, you just chill here for now. The fact that she has no units here is the problem. Yeah, this is the bigger issue. The fact that... Oh, those walls were clutch. Oh, those walls were clutch. Okay. Just saved the day there with those walls. Now, they're only slinger walls. Did the game just crash on me? What? That never happens. 
Wow! I cannot tell you the last time Civ has crashed on me when I didn't have a mod on. All right, well, we'll be back in one second then once we reload. And we'll just have to autosave. Or load the autosave. Okay, let's try this again. So, ah, we're at the beginning of last turn. Eh, that sucks. All right, so we have to redo this turn. Um, So what did we do? We moved you there so you can move your slinger right there. I want to do the exact same thing I did last time, I think. Yeah, there's the walls. Oh, you actually went there. So maybe it would have... Nah, you would have shot it anyway, so it didn't really matter. <clears throat> I clicked there again, and I thought I just broke the game. Yeah, that's weird. Like, seriously, I've, I've never... Like, it's been so long since I've seen Civ uh, actually... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, full loyalty here now. And you're not even settled. Uh, since I've seen Civ crash. Like, it just doesn't happen. So one religion's gone. Two and three are getting knocked out. George is one of the main religiouses, but she just doesn't have time to go get it. So, um, we should be able to get a religion for what it's worth. Maybe we should just knock out a religious game because it'll be quick. <laughs> eh, eh. So, uh, I'm actually going to put you here because there's no river crossing. But with the walls, Georgia should be totally fine now. Maybe actually go explore. And yeah, now you're having some loyalty issues, which is like, suck it! Now, yeah, calm down. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it is nine tiles away is the max. So we're also putting pressure on you too, which suck it. <laughs> uh, so go holy side prayers here a couple times. I would love a trade route. We can't afford it yet. I don't have anything to trade. Right? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't grab anything. Right? Yeah. No, we're good. And by good. Not good, but yeah, whatever. Um, give me a builder over here. Because we could go work on some of this stuff. And once again, I would like you to grow. But the 2-2 two -two will have to work for now. Okay, what are you doing over here now? You're doing the 3 and the 2-3. Two -three. That's beautiful. So, I want you to work these next. But you still got 7 turns, so we're not going to worry about it. <laughs> okay, there. So now he should like us because we don't have Cav. That's good. That's what we we're expecting to have happen here pretty quick. So beautiful. Uh, why is he not happy with me yet? First impressions still. And I sailed near him. And I declared friendship with an enemy. Dude, I just need one trader out, man. Just one trader out, and he'll like me. I'm telling you, it's all it's gonna take. Also, open borders, maybe two. Six population, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's already boosted, okay. I was like, wait a second, that should be boosted. It is, spoiler. So she's actually now going for a holy site. Um, but I still think we got her beat. Yeah, we should have her beat. We should be able to get a religion in this game. Even though I don't really care about the religion, but yeah, whatever. I don't know. Maybe I do want to do a religion. What's her? Envoy for trade routes. Ah, oh, so you know, I could just send a trade route to Valletta then. I just, I hate sending trade routes to city states. I do. Actually, I take that back because I think we remember looking at like the second or third level here. Allows you to construct gilded vault. Oh my god, we're after that build freaking commercial homes. Um, but I think at some point you get uh like a huge bonus for sending trade routes to city states. Like it doubles the money or something like that. It's something silly like that where it's like, oh okay, I might actually send you trade routes now. We'll see. Tamar made peace with Genghis Khan. Okay, so back to exploring we shall be. This is fine. Um you just go explore over there for the time being. Ah, Georgia, do not. Oh, you're a punk, Georgia. You are a punk. So I need a city over here. And eventually this will flip to us. Is she still Dark Age? Rolling. She's at 13. I'm at 12. She's going to be a normal age. God. Grr. <clears throat> Depends on where she settles. Because right now... I don't think she's going to have any loyalty issues to worry about from Mongolia. And if she settles on this river, she won't get any loyalty issues from here. <gasps> oh, I 
screwed this up by putting air there. I didn't realize we blocked ourselves from that. Ah, oh, dang. Dang. Okay, that sucks, actually. Yeah, because I really wanted a city there. I mean, here's still not terrible, but... Mmm. I could have gone there. I don't think loyalty would have been able to let me go there, though. I think in the scheme of things, I'd rather have a city here and then one there. Or one here. Because we're going to want a city over here and then probably one up there. Yeah, it'll be fine. Also, what is this? The Mapantakako Unitan Desert? <laughs> Arthur's Seat. Oh, okay. Sorry. There's the desert and then Arthur's Seat, which is the volcano. Mapantakako Untainted Desert? I don't know. I don't know. I know. I'm butchering it. I'm basically butchering it for your guys' enjoyment. Or to trigger you, apparently. And let's be honest, it's probably the latter. Hey, how about you don't freaking settle next to me? Also, I can't declare war on you. So I don't even know why it prompts that. Okay. Yeah, I think I'd rather still go this way. We are going to have open borders here any second, so that'll be fine. Uh, oh, yeah, we bought open borders from her. I was like, why do I have the ability to pass through her territory? I hate you. <laughs> Absolutely hate you. We might have some issues loyalty-wise, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, 170 is the trade route, so we need two turns. Eight turns there. What's the growth? How did you lose a pop? Were you still only at two? I guess you were still only at two. Hmm. Hmm. The faith doesn't really matter right this second. So settling right over there is okay. I, I do want a city over here. I think our next city needs to go maybe like right down here next to this volcano. Um, and I would like to start popping out cities, but you know, slight issue there is we need this religion first. Why do we need this religion first? I don't know. Okay, no, we actually need to go. I thought we had a little more space, but no. Mm -mm. We will not get a religion here if we're not careful. So that's two out of five. Three, four. This is five out of five right here. Now, one of these guys might actually already have it. But also... Do you see that? Plus freaking six points per turn. Oh, 4.6. I was like, how the hell are you getting six profit points per turn at this point? Like, with the golden age, okay, but, you know. So what if Georgia gets a golden age? Um, well, then we just die, basically. <laughs> uh, it's okay. So one more turn. Can I send a trader out, you think, from up here? We might not actually be able to afford to uh, send the trader out from here. Which is okay. I don't mind sending it from air and get the extra growth. You're about to grow. That's fine. Are you having housing? No, you're displeased. We're having amenity issues because of our pop. Eh. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, tribal village, please. Free growth would be great. Um... I guess keep going this way, then. And now we see why he was having some loyalty issue. Okay. And what? Two turns. This is fine. Keep hitting next. I'm, I'm like, is there something I'm supposed to be doing right now? No, I think we're good. So let's see. Can you reach? No. Dang. All right, we'll go from air, then. That'll give you a little extra food. It'll be fine. Um, what are we looking at here with the religion? 44, 66. So we will have a religion. We're just gonna have to do holy side prayers one more time. Then after that, let's get back to settlers. Early empire will be done, so we won't lose any populations anymore. So that's good. Uh, you're now size two. You are now losing 0.7. Totally acceptable. And we will have open borders here any second. He should accept open borders right away, I would think. Uh, at this point, because we've met him for a while now, so fairly certain he will like us. So what do we want here? Oh, thank God. That actually kills Pop. 
which is awesome Don't for air. Don't the wheel. It was luxuries like air conditioning. Okay, couple things. Number one, did you lose pop? Four population, beautiful. Number two, she got a normal age. That's fine. Number three, we are having some issues from George, uh, from Mongolia. But you losing all that population was great. And actually, that's going to really hurt her here. That's probably the biggest gain on that. Uh, you're going to go ahead and... <clears throat> it's fine. Almost screwed that one up. How is that two turns? It was two turns last turn when it, you said two turns. Interesting. Somehow we lost a pop there, I guess, apparently. Ooh. Ooh. So, you're at 13 right now. Oh, wait, wait, what are we doing? Settlers, here. Yeah, we don't need the faith in gold anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just drop our gold, though, but it's okay for now. Uh, yeah, 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 we knew about that. Uh, we'll do founded religion because we should have that and that will probably be the easiest. Even though I kind of want to use my faith elsewhere, I think we will go ahead and do some conversion. I would loved if that would have actually given us faith. That probably would have been our best bet here. Uh, you know, we screwed this up. <sighs> because if we could have gotten the heavy chariot first, we could have had Valletta and then got another uh, uh, quest. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. So, as soon as you finish that, I want you to do a heavy chariot. I think. Unless we want to do it in air. I don't think so. But maybe. Bronze working's boosted. Let's go get some iron. Early empire is done. We're going to get up here to political philosophy. I am tempted. You know what? No, no, let's just do the builder. Let's do the builder. Yeah, let's just do the builder. The other thing is we need to buy some of these tiles, but I need cash and we don't have cash, which is why I need builders. Okay, that's fine. All right, so you're going to Georgia. They both suck. I think I'd rather send the trader out through you. So we'll go this way. And that should make us friends. Because uh, I think it's another plus two. And wait, it was equal, wasn't it? 7373, three. so yeah, yeah, we should be friendly now. Uh, oh yeah, we also have open borders now we can trade with him. So, oh yeah, yeah, he's definitely gonna love us. He still wants me to pay you for open borders? What the hell? What the hell? I, I actually can't afford that right now. Mm-mm. Oh, he got Temple of Artemis, dude. Dude, Temple of Artemis would have been great if I could have built it here with all the luxuries right there. And no sky. Gandhi? Oh, interesting. It's been a minute since we've seen Gandhi. Uh, yet another Civ that should be friendly with us. I don't have money for the delegation. I don't really need to send him a delegation, though, because, we, like I said, we will be friendly. I have nothing to trade. And especially since they don't want to trade me open borders. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, we did it, guys. Yes. <laughs> we did it. We got just enough. Okay, cool. Great. Um, So our next city needs to go. So, uh. One, two, three, four. I guess we're going to have to put it on the volcanic tile, which sucks because I don't really want to settle there. But I do want to put as much loyalty pressure here as possible. So, yeah, I said, ah, but, or do I want to go, ah, mmm, mmm. Is this from Gandhi? Or do I want to go coastal? Hmm. Interesting question. Here's the funny thing. She might finish Stonehenge. Like, Stonehenge might get finished, and there might not be any great profits left. You don't... 
yeah, it, it can't create one, right? Great profits may found. Grants a free great profit. Great profits may be found. Must be built. So what happens if all the religions are gone when Stonehenge gets built? I actually don't know if I've ever seen that before. I mean, my assumption is nothing. But still, be kind of interesting. I'm going to send you up here because we need it. Watch for barbarians. Uh, also, we got to wrap this episode up. So let's just do it now while we remember. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. And let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, comment, share your support. So we got decent amounts of room. We're just going to want to flip Georgia here. With the ability of having our own religion here, we may be able to get a golden era next turn. We're not going to have our unique building or our unique unit. Right? Because the Highlander's a little later. Oh, it's not even the Skirmisher. Oh, yeah, it's up here. Yeah, so no, we're not going to be able to get the Highlander either. Maybe. Maybe, I guess is the question. Um, so hopefully at some point we can flip you. Question's really, do we need to come settle all the way over here? Or do we instead want to start putting loyalty pressure here? You're actually gaining positive? How the hell is that happening? <laughs> uh, how close are you? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so you're only getting loyalty pressure then. Yeah, okay, that makes sense now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so both of these cities will end up putting loyalty pressure. I actually think we go over here. I think we need to start blocking this territory off and we can come back and fill in. All right. But anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.